Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. If you are, hit the like button and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. And please share this out to your friends. Today I want to talk about another useful R2 tool called R2PM, which allows you to install additional functionality via package management. In this case, we're going to install decompilers, which will help you with your analysis of various applications by looking at the C code instead of looking at the assembly code. Right now, I'm on the main R2 web page, and if we scroll down, here we'll see a list of the most installed packages. Most notable for us would be the decompilers. We have the R2 Ghidra, which uses the Ghidra's decompiler, which is quite good. And we also have R2 DEC, which also gives a different representation of the assembly. Now, you can install these with R2PM update and R2PM install followed by the package name. And this is the package name right here, R2 Ghidra, R2 DEC. However, there is a word of warning. Do not try to do this from a apt getted package manager version of R2. Make sure that you install this from GitHub with the instructions on this page because if you try to install it into something else, it will likely fail and you'll have a whole bunch of questions. So again, use the GitHub version of R2 if you're going to install packages or they will fail. So I already have these installed, so I don't need to install them again, but basically all you're gonna do is this R2PM update. You're also probably going to need CMake if you already don't have that, so do a sudo apt get update and then a sudo apt get install cmake make sure you get that installed and then you're going to run a r2pm minus ci r2 ghidra and r2 deck and that should get those installed for you. Now, if you get any errors in your terminal, look at what those errors are. They're probably related to a prerequisite package you don't already have installed. Install that package and then try to run this R2PM command again. Now, once those are all installed, you should be able to decompile the code. So if we do a R2 ADA out again, and we do analysis again, we're going to seek to our main function and PDF, right? So here's our assembly. Now, if I wanted to look at the decompilation via Ghidra, I would just type in PDG. It'll take a minute, and then we get the Ghidra representation of that assembly in C. So this is a lot easier to run. Here's our stack canary it's adding in. And then here's our puts, fgets, check password, but this is more like C and less like assembly and a bit easier to read, right? So then if we hop into another function, so we go AFL and we say seek to sim check password, we can do that again, PDG and we're going to get the output for that, right? So here we see our hex values going into this S1, and then we see a string compare with S1 and arg1, and if var1 equals zero, which is the return, we go to sim.result, right? So this is a little easier to read if you're not familiar with assembly, and you're able to follow these if-thens instead of JNEs like jump if not equal. It's a little more familiar if you've coded before. Now we can also do it with the other uh, decompiler, so PDD, and compare those. So from PDD, it also decompiles it, but we have kind of a mixture of things, right? So we have these ifs and we have these elfs. We also see like EAX in here, RAX in here, so it's kind of like a combination, right? So it's a little bit different. If we do this with the main, so we seek to main, we do it again. We also get 
kind of a mixture again, right? We see our F gets, we see our check password. It looks a little more familiar in the way it's calling it, but then we still have these EAX equals zero. So it's, it's showing you registers and it's showing you values, right? Your canaries in RCX. So they're different representations. So the Ghidra is probably more C-like and it does a little bit better of a decompilation in that aspect. And this gives you another view of it. So all of these things between the you know, PDF, which is the disassembly, the PDG, which is the Ghidra version, and the PDD, which is the uh, other decompiler. It'll kind of give you different ways to look at things and give you a better understanding of things. So if you're new to this, what I would suggest is grab some really easy crack me binaries or code your own C. And when you do the disassembly, try to understand what's going on in the disassembly first without looking at anything else. Just go through the disassembly and try to understand what's happening. Now, once you've exhausted your resources and if you haven't figured it out, then do the uh, decompilation with Ghidra and with the other decompiler and take a look at that version and try to associate the decompiled function parts like the ifs, the elfs, the loops with the actual assembly and understand what's going on at the assembly level by comparing it to the C code, especially if you write your own. You can write your own really easy C programs and then disassemble them after you actually compile them and then really kind of pay attention to what's happening. And this will help you further your assembly if you already don't know it and help you start reversing things a lot easier. Now, hopefully this video was helpful. In the next video, we'll take a look at probably the debugging, like more live analysis, and then how to you know view values and memory and all that stuff. Um, in the meantime, please like the video, share it with your friends, and I will catch you in the next one.